I found quite a number of very clever toys from New York Toy Fair of 1999, but also the shops at that time, because I was, uh, and it was, a, it was a gift there, I think, as well. So three sources for ideas, and I put them on, into one of these two, this one here, I think this case here. It's got a lot in it, and I've got here, well, nearly half a dozen of them to show you, first of all. And some of them are just very quick and easy. So this one here is called Boing Boing Tiger Punch. Let's bring up the camera. And when you squeeze it, that's what it does. Ooh, ouch, etc., etc. You got the idea. It's got a quite a nice boing boing sound. Electronic, of course. So, and that's all it does. You know, it's got batteries inside in the base, and it's got a nice big fist to for kids to have a bit of fun with. So that was one. The second one I was delighted to find because I've been looking at these when I was looking at sweet toys. It's um. It's a peppermint, and it's got a nice name to it, Testament, not test, not Testament, which is part of the Christian Bible, but Testament. And there's a little text on the back as well, too, which is very, very, very sweet for people, you know, who are, who, who, who want to think about their, their religion and their faith. This is Revelations, I think. Each of them, and there's three of them in the, in the, in the case, contains little, little extracts from the Testament, the New Testament. Testament, nice one. There's another one here which is interesting because I've got one of these on my shelf which I use every, all the time. In fact, I've just changed because it's just in the beginning of December. And I, it's a sliding block puzzle. And by moving these pieces, I've just been setting it up for December. Yes, yeah, so I haven't got the right date there. This only goes up to about uh, 2000, I think it was in the 90s. There's an interesting mistake here at the top. Have a look where the, where the um, days of the week are. It goes Monday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. I don't know what the, the bit underneath, which is either Chinese or Japanese, whether that's also wrong as well. But anyway, it's got a simple little fault in it, a glitch in it, that the Tuesday and Thursday have been switched over. But I don't think you're supposed to believe that. But anyway, and the other odd thing is it's got these funny date things which revolve around and give a different number for each of the months. So it's just January the 1st, February the 2nd, and I don't really see the point of that, to be honest. But there we are. But the sliding block is really quite fun because you have to think what you're doing when you're changing to the new months. I had a little time to sort out. You've got three, three blanks there and, a, and an open space there. And with switching them around, you can somehow, if you're lucky, get it right first time. Otherwise, you've got a bit of trouble. So every month, I take my calendar. I've got another one of these on my shelf at the moment. And I go fiddle, fiddle, fiddle and set it up for the new months. So a little bit of exercise. Nice one. Here's a little fun thing. It's for small children to have in the bath toy. It comes, you're supposed to provide it with, uh, with, a, with, a, with a coin like this, and I'll set it up. I'll see if I can get it into focus first. Now, if I turn this, it'll light, come on light. And just for a bit of fun, I thought I'd put it in the glass, because this is supposed to be floating like a boy. That's the idea, a boy, B-U-O-Y, in the bath. There we are. And, oh. It's gone the other way up. Oh, I see, that's right. It floats that way. That's right. Well, it's top heavy, actually. Very odd. Very odd. It's floating sideways, even. Very, very strange. Anyway, that's for something for kids to play with in the bath because it's completely waterproof. There's a nice lot of um, rubber there around around the around the, the switch you turned it on, and it lights and it floats around in the bath. It's a not very upright boy. Oh well, here we are. And the last one is a very nice bit of engineering, I think, for. I've got some of these already in my other parts of my collection. It's a little figure made of rubber, so it's very, very... I'll see if you can get a shape of the into focus, first of all. And then it's got a crank handle at the bottom, and there's a wire goes up to the middle of the figure, and then she starts dancing and wiggling. And it's, it works really quite well, but it's a little bit out of focus at the trouble. Very nice action there, from just, just, just from moving this large... I think I'll bring myself up a little bit clever because it likes my face, isn't it? So that actually works very well. So these are all from New York, 1999. A few more to come yet, actually. So it's a good year for finding clever ideas. And very contrasting toys. That's what I liked about finding things in New York. It was extraordinary contrast of things. So more to come. Huh. <laughs>